Hello, YouTube. Welcome back. This late night second take episode is brought to you by bourbon. My name's Jeff, and on this channel, we cover all sorts of interesting topics like home automation, in particular, home assistant in today's video. So if you like learning about things in a clear and concise manner, I invite you to come along with me on my YouTube journey by clicking that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my exciting content. If you wanna be one of the first to know when I've released a new video, go ahead and ring that little notification bell as well. Be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video if you'd like to find out how to win this great tablet and wall mount bracket. So today I've got some pretty exciting stuff to share with you. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how to configure network device trackers in Home Assistant. Now, you might be wondering, what's a network device tracker? Network device trackers are a Home Assistant entity that allows you to figure out if a device is connected to your network or not. Why would you want to do that? Well, consider the following. You and the wife have a wonderful night out planned. You're going to go to the best restaurant in town. You're going to get some nice thick steaks, maybe some lobster tails, a couple glasses of wine, maybe a nice glass of bourbon. Then after dinner, she really wants to go and catch this show. You're not too excited about it, but you figure as long as you keep her happy. So the babysitter comes over, after exchanging some pleasantries, you guys hop in the car, you start heading out, and not a moment too soon, because if you'd have left even one minute later, you were gonna miss your reservation, then that means that you weren't gonna make it to the show, and then she'd be mad, and then no for you later. You barely make it to the end of the block, and your phone rings. It's the babysitter. She is losing her mind. All the lights just turned off, and the TV, and the stereo, and the alarm panel is beeping at me. Help, help! Great. You know exactly what just happened. You forgot to set the house in guest mode. So when you left, your nobody's home automation triggered. It turned off all your lights, it turned off the TV, it turned off the stereo, it armed your home alarm system. And now here's the poor babysitter sitting in there. Everything just turned off, she's in the dark, and the alarm panel is beeping. Great. With a device tracker, as soon as the babysitter got to your house and got on the guest Wi-Fi, because you do let your babysitter on the guest Wi-Fi, right? So as soon as the babysitter got on your guest Wi-Fi, Home Assistant would have known that there was a guest in the house and could have prevented your nobody's home automations from running. Crisis averted. <laughs> Another great use case for network device trackers is if you're security minded like I am, you can use them to automatically enable and disable firewall rules based on whether or not your cell phone is connected to your network at the house. For example, when everybody's home, you can disable all your firewall rules. You don't need to be connecting to Home Assistant from outside the network when you're at home, right? Or Plex or any other servers that you might host that you wanna access when you're away, but nobody needs to get to when you're home. Then if you or your wife or one of your kids or whatever are not home, you can have that firewall rule automatically enabled so that the companion app on the phones can automatically update home system with their location so that you can perform automations based on zones. Like when you get to the grocery store, you can send your wife a notification to quickly remind her she's got about 30 seconds to update that grocery list before you finish shopping. But how can you enable the firewall rules if the firewall rules are based on location and location is based on the companion app communicating with Home Assistant to tell it you're not home. If the firewall is disabled, the companion app isn't gonna be able to do that. So how do we make this work? Use a network device tracker to automatically enable those firewall rules when your phone drops off the Wi-Fi network. Problem solved. Now, we'll cover the automated guest mode and the automated firewall rules and stuff in future videos. So if you're interested in those, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when those videos are put up. But in the meantime, we need to figure out how to set up network device trackers because that's the foundation of this whole thing, right? In this video, we're going to cover how to set this up using the Ubiquiti integration for Home Assistant since that's what I've got here is Ubiquiti Network Gear. Now, there is a device tracker entity that can be configured using Nmap or a few different other integrations. And you can take a look at that in the home system documentation if you wanna set that up for yourself. It works with other manufacturers like Netgear and stuff. Uh, I'll leave a link to that down in the description if you wanna check that out. So of course, the first thing is that you need to have the Ubiquiti integration already set up. 
Uh, we covered that in a previous video. I'll leave a link to it up in the cards in case you need. And then the next thing that you need to do is in the Ubiquiti integration, you need to make sure that the box is checked for track network clients. Now, due to a change that was made in Home Assistant 2022.2, all new device trackers are created disabled by default. This is kind of a pain in the ass, right? Unless you're okay with that, you can go in and manually enable each one. Uh, I don't wanna have to do that. I, I want to track my devices. I want those device trackers to be enabled. And if you wanna use the guest mode automation that we'll cover in a future video, you're gonna want those all enabled as well. So I would recommend doing this. The workaround is that you need to check the box for uptime sensors for all network clients. That will make sure that your device trackers in Ubiquiti are all enabled. Once you've made those changes, go ahead and click submit and you should see the number of entities increase, provided that you didn't already have those options checked to begin with. So then click the entities underneath the Ubiquiti integration and search for device underscore tracker and you should see them all listed there. Now, if you have multiple Wi-Fi bands, if you've got say 2.4 and 5G, then you're gonna have multiple device trackers for each device that is connected to both of those networks. So for your cell phone, I would recommend only configuring it to connect to one of those networks. Otherwise, you're gonna have multiple trackers for your phone. It's gonna be more complicated to keep track of that versus if you just connect to 5G only, then you've only got one device tracker to worry about and when your phone drops off 5G, that means you're not home. We can see here that I've got a device tracker for my phone named Jeff's phone 5G and the entity ID is device tracker dot galaxy S22. That information gets pulled in automatically from Ubiquiti. So you don't have to worry about configuring that. And then under the integration column, pay careful attention to the source of that integration. If it says mobile app, that's not the one that you want to use. Mobile app is the one from the companion app that provides your location, your GPS coordinates, back to Home Assistant. That is not the tracker that's gonna keep track of whether or not you're on the Wi-Fi. Under the integration column there, it'll say that the integration is provided by Ubiquiti. So now that we've got our device trackers, we need to set these up so that we can use them. Begin by going to Settings, People, and click Add Person. Assign a name. I just used my name underscore Wi-Fi, did the same for my wife and then make sure allow person to log in is unchecked. That means that this account cannot be used to log into Home Assistant and it can only be used for tracking. Then under select the devices that belong to this person, choose the entity that represents the device tracker from the Ubiquiti integration. That's it. Now you can use the location information from that person in your automations to perform actions based on whether or not your phone is connected to Wi-Fi or not. If you've got any ideas for automations that you'd like to perform based on whether or not a device is connected to the network, go ahead and tell me about them in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. It gets my creativity going to help me create new automations for my house that I can share with you guys in future videos. So, for the giveaway, I've got this Amazon Fire 10 and a wall mount bracket here. And I'm going to give these away when the channel reaches 750 subscribers. All you've got to do to enter is subscribe because you're going to need to make sure that you see the video where I announce the winner in case it's you. So make sure that you subscribe and like this video and then leave me some feedback in the comments on this video. When the channel reaches 750 subscribers, I will randomly scroll through the comments and pick someone and then I will announce that person in the next video that I make after the channel reaches 750 subscribers. We'll give that person a few weeks to get back to me and if we don't hear from them or if they're ineligible, then I'll go ahead and pick another name in the next video. Now, the channel's already over 650 subscribers as I'm making this video, so don't wait. Hurry up, get entered for your chance to win. Now, if you're watching this and the channel's already over 750 subscribers, don't worry. I've got a great prize that I'm gonna be giving away to celebrate 1,000 subscribers on the channel, so rules will be the same for that one. Go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, get entered, you'll be glad you did. Now, rules. There's only one rule. You need to be in the continental United States. Between the cost of shipping and export laws, tariff laws, all, all that kind of stuff, I, I'm not a logistics expert, I'm a computer nerd. So, continental United States, sorry. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, if you found it helpful, or if you like my new DIY haircut, or if you think my t-shirts are funny, or you're just a really nice person and you wanna help support the channel, 
go ahead and smack that like button for me. And that tells the YouTube algorithm that this video didn't suck and they should show it to more people, which is what we want, right? Thanks for watching. And until the next video, go and automate something, will ya?